Hey, what's up guys? My name is Azo, and today we're going to be talking about the postals made by Riot on the 30th of March. Talking about voice chat specifically. They did uh, answer a few questions, uh, FAQs, in this post, and I will even link the post in the description. But uh, the interesting part for me, I thought, was about the voice chat, and I posted this on Twitter as well. So the question was, if you value competitive team play so much, why are you against voice chat? It would really make the games more coordinated. And they basically answered that in the fa past, they have been negative towards it because it supposedly increases toxicity, even though literally every other big game has voice chat. And honestly, I think the only real way I, the only real point I c can't argue for being wrong is if you're a girl and you'd somehow get negativity for that, because I personally have never you know, not actually a girl, believe it or not. So I don't know if that's actually the case. It's possible it is, it's possible it isn't. Can't argue for that. But overall, if you take that aside, most people who flame, and I, I take aside, like, really, really, really hardcore people who are really proud of flaming, most people who flame, and even them, a couple of them, don't really have, like, the social capacity to, like, open the mic. It was, like, I, I played other games casually, especially Overwatch, and people who flame really have, they don't dare to do it in, in, um, voice comms. You always see people, I guess this, suppose this isn't, then this entire thing is anecdotal, but it's always the people talking in voice chat, and then when something goes wrong and they want to blame someone, they go to, they go to keyboard, because it's both, it's both that it's difficult to flame someone, when you know they're a person, it's way easier to flame someone when they are um, Ari, or they are Zinshao, or they are Annie. They're not actually a, a person, they're just a character, and it's easier to flame, right? But when you actually hear someone's voice, or hear, someone's, uh, hear someone talking, it's a bit more difficult, I think, to be an asshole towards them. Also, it, it helps miscommunication, where it's, it, people waste time typing, and, well, I think it's easier to not get into an argument when you have voice chat, because you can kind of say, oh, sorry, my bad, or anything like that, easier, more quicker of a voice, or it's very clear who was at fault. So, and considering how just essential voice chat is for proper communication and coordination, it's crazy that we don't have it yet. League of Legends is the biggest game right now, the biggest competitive game, the, the, the biggest game overall, right? And we don't have voice chat. Way smaller games have voice chat, which is just, it, it's baffling. Um, and I know they're really big on this whole toxicity thing, but I honestly, since it's going to be opt-in, like they've said, keeping it to an opt-in experience, for example, we considered our philosophy around voice chat. And while there are some challenges we want to overcome, keeping it opt-in, for example, we want to do it. So they are positive towards doing it, but uh, apparently there's a challenge with making it opt-in. So I don't see the problem. If someone doesn't have a mic, it's, it's whatever. I mean, it's going to lower synergy or whatever, but they can still listen to other people talking. And worst case scenario, you can mute someone personally. Maybe they can also, on the same vein, figure out how to mute a specific person's pings, because that would be really good. And they go into saying that, we believe League, is, League as a team sport should reward coordination, and the voice chat is a valuable tool for getting teams and strangers aligned. We'll probably begin deeper investigation, deeper investigation, and once the League Quality update is in stable release, so we don't have to build the feature twice, but hopefully this is a clear update on our philosophy and where we stand. We'll also give you few further updates when the time comes. So sure, it sounds like they're positive and this sounds like they have hearts in the right place and all that, but I don't increase potential for negative behavior. I don't see how. Yeah, someone might yell at you, but it's the same thing as muting someone for flaming at you. The only, like I said, the only way, the only thing I can't experience or can't talk about is if it's worse for girls. It's very possible. I couldn't say. So, yeah, maybe. In which case, I guess, opt out. Opt in. You know, it's... It's, it's always been the, the basic stance. You, you you don't have to speak... If You don't even have to plug in your microphone, and even if you do, you don't really have to talk in it. I, I just don't see the, the issue with this. And... I don't know, I, I think it would help. I think it would make the experience a lot better. Um, I, I just can't imagine, because all these incredible things they're building up that 
that. It's the same as when they were afraid of um, remakes because they thought it was going to be abused on like 0.001% chance it actually is. And all the other times it's actually used when someone is legitimate at DC. I just think that so many other games have actually done this successfully that at this point we don't really have to be afraid of the boogeyman that uh, police comms are going to ruin the game. It just doesn't feel realistic at all considering. But it seems like they're positive towards it and I sincerely hope it's gonna happen, but mm, I'm you know, they have they have cleared up a lot of the memes. You know, we have we have new client, we have a practice mode, we have replays, yeah, they they're clearing they're killing the memes, so I mean this might be this is not really a big meme, this is just if it takes them three years. You know. Either way, um it's gonna be exciting to see if they actually do it because I think voice chat could definitely reinvigorate a lot of people's interest in the game. And it would definitely change it up quite a bit. Uh, also, removing a lot of the need for pings and stuff. So yeah, it could be really interesting. Uh, looking forward to it. I hope you guys are interested. And if there's something I missed about voice chat, just leave a comment because I'm interested uh, if there was a perspective that I didn't think about. So yeah, let me know. I'll see you guys in another video. Have a good one. Peace.